film, you're gonna film that guy and me. All right, let's do it. Right? So, so no, that way. Where you're are you gonna go? Way. No, you gotta push it that way. I need no, a no, this one to stand on. You just gotta do this. Just oh, hold yeah. it like that and make sure that we're in there. All right, all right, all right. I got it. You wanna come right here? Yeah. Is your, is your, is your stuff right here? Or I wanna come wherever you wanna be. If you want, right like, here. is that? Let's go right there. Let's go right there. Right here. All right. Do you, see, have, do you have people on there now? Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Do you see it. how this works? Yeah, we're doing it. Hey, guys, Kurt Muller here with Todd Brown at uh, Todd's event, which is absolutely awesome. We're here. What do you want me? me? Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, all right, good. Do you want us to hug? <laughs> hey, okay, you're good. All right. So you guys know I do a bunch of periscopes, and it's really with expert interviews, and we do a lot in a day. We talk to Tim Irway, Matt Crystal, but it's really your event, and you've been running around, so I appreciate you having me. Oh, of course. Um, so one thing you guys will see in the back of social media, Ad Genius as well too, or some of the other products that I've done, I highly recommend Todd for everything he does with funnels. I've never met anybody who's true, sincere, really honest, open, shares everything. Like, there's brilliant. Like it's. It's awesome. Um, so the one question I had that I had typed in there is you had said it this weekend, which I thought was great, was uh, do you break even in the first 30 days? Do you take a loss in the first 30 days when we're talking about running ads and into the funnel? And you had talked about which I thought was really interesting concept of, hey look, if you can acquire a customer for $100, you can beat the crap out of guys if you're willing to pay 200 bucks because you'll even break even six months or a year later. Sure. So I'm just curious, someone who's either starting out or halfway there, right? Mm -hmm. What about this whole break-even philosophy? And the, and the quick question behind it, the question behind the question yeah. is I had a girl email me the other day, and she goes, Kurt, I spent $5 a day for six days. I spent $30. I think my funnel's broke. Obviously, she hadn't spent enough money. So when is enough money, and how far do you go break-even? That's a great question, man. I, you know, there's a lot of nuances to that. I think that first and foremost, what we typically do, first of all, uh, is we will spend three times the value of one conversion. So if the average customer, right, which you talked about the other day, you shared, um, so that's the first thing that we're, we will spend up to three times the value of a customer. If a customer is worth a single transaction, a single conversion is worth $100, we'll spend up to $300 to see if we can make that conversion. Um, I think the, the, the real question, and if I, if, if what, you may have to come a closer with what the mic. Just yeah, yeah. What you're asking, I, I think the, uh, the, the real question is, hang on, we're streaming live. You can come in here. I, so, I don't care that you're so, streaming live, bro. So the, the, um, the, the right answer, is, is the right answer is this that look I want you to think like an investor and I want you to realize that when you are acquiring customers you are investing in the acquisition of an asset something that is worth more money and so you have to ask yourself today what are you willing to invest to get that asset if there's a, if a customer is worth a thousand dollars to you over the life of their patronage to your business if a customer is worth a thousand bucks over the next over the next year and but they only spend fifty dollars today with you would you be willing to spend a hundred dollars to get them even though they're only spending 50 with you today meaning you go out of pocket for fifty dollars well the answer is if the customer is worth a thousand dollars and you have the money that you can float over yep. here Martin back to me baby. Okay, over here, <laughs> yeah. that you are um, that if you have the money to float and yeah. I, I mean we'll I would love to talk more with you man but you listen last laughing. thing that I want to say the last yeah. thing that I want to say this guy brought the house down yeah. And, and truly, I'll say this, I know that he wanted to ask me a question, but this is the guy that at Marketing Funnel Automation that we we turn to, we recommend. This is the guy when it comes to traffic. And so all of you guys and gals following Kurt, you are in the right place. Learn from him, study him, pay attention to him, and pay him. <laughs> and you guys, marketingfunnelautomation.com. Really important. Lot and scrub this. Thank you, Damon. I appreciate you guys very much. So amazing individuals. Thank you guys. And uh, Lawton, we're gonna sit. Ready? I'm gonna put my arm around you. This is gonna be a weird, awkward. Uh, Dude, what the heck are you doing? Like, this is really weird. I feel strange. This is not. Part hey, you guys, of I it. appreciate. It. So we'll put. Uh, thank you, brother. So we're gonna put you guys in the back of uh, the expert uh, panel. And is it, oh, okay, is you ready? Still, are we still You're, live? Ready? We're gonna do live. Say goodbye. See hey, ya. I wanna hug it out. Hug it out. We're gonna hug it out. We can be live.